guys, today it's time for the road test. Let's see how this well this antenna performs. This is the uh, the Radiodity CBL 561. It's a 25 to 30 megahertz mobile antenna, and I have the optional base on it, the three magnet mount. That well on my car I couldn't quite have the antenna centered because I got the ribs in the roof, but it's a fantastic base. Uh, both available on their website, and I will put links to both of them in the description. I hooked up my QT40. I figured if we're testing a Radiodity antenna, well, we should be testing it with a Radiodity radio. So the QT40 is set up in here, and in the house, way over there, can we see up there on the end? Let me try zooming in. Oh, we can... We can kind of see that antenna way up in the air. Oh, I had my hand on the microphone. That was probably all more muffled to you. Uh, in the house, we'll have the QT60. And it'll be connected to that half-wave tram, which is a just a half-wave uh, ground plane. It's got a ground plane kit on it. Okay, both of the radios that we're using today, the QT40 and the QT60, are running. we're running just the radio's power. There's no amplifiers connected to either radio. Uh, the QT40 here is doing about 35 watts peak, and the QT60 is doing about 60 watts peak. Uh, both radios are set on channel 44, uh, 27.4450. Uh, we, I chose that channel just because it was the quietest today. There's a, there was a lot of radio activity today, and uh, that seemed to be the quietest, even though uh, you will see that we encountered some noise. All right, let's get on with the test, and uh, I'll show you how well this thing sounds on the road. In the video, you're going to see a lot of times uh, there'll be text on the screen stating the, uh, the miles. All the miles were calculated using Google Earth, so I drew a straight line. Uh, from my my home location to the destination to that point and uh, we put the straight line miles It's not uh, distance traveled. It's a straight line distance from the base station Perfect actually, yes I mean, so is that one, that radio, oh that thing sounds good I'm telling you, these radiotis, they really do receive well exactly two miles away and uh, it looks like I could have done a little bit better with tuning the antenna it looks like we have about a 1.6 uh, 1.5 1.6 right here on this frequency sounds pretty darn good and how far away are you now at this point I am exactly two miles away and uh, it looks like I could have done a little bit better with tuning the antenna it looks like we have about a 1.6 1.6 right here on this frequency. Yeah, it's up to about a little up. It's all right. It's still it's safe enough. Uh, <laughs> all right, I want to get mo moving, and uh, we'll uh, head on up the road and see how far we can get. Sounds good. Give me a call when you get where you're going. Bonneville I just passed. That thing just sits halfway under a car over here. I don't think I have ever seen that car move. It does have uh, recent tags on it, the current tags, but I never see the car move. I wonder if he just takes it out to shows and stuff. No, 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 it's not a show car. Uh -huh. <laughs> not by any means. It was, it's a daily driver, that's it. Yep, go do that. There is such a big old cool Pontiac. It's a big old Pontiac Bonneville that I just passed. That thing just sits halfway under a car pool over here. I don't think I have ever seen that car move. It does have uh, recent tags on it. It's got current tags, but I never see the car move. I wonder if he just takes it out to shows and stuff. Oh, no, 
cars, but you know, I really don't. And I don't pay any attention to the Pontiac. I only look for the place with the pond. So, we look for different things. <laughs> I gotta say, this QT40 looks pretty damn good in the dashboard. It sticks way out, but uh, it looks pretty good. They have very pretty radio, so I'm not surprised. I am nearing the end of the road, so it looks like I am going to be turning uh, right onto 441. No. so after the end of the Air Force Base. Oh, we double keyed. We both stopped at the same time. My bad. No, that's a 50-50 thing. That was both of us. So you go ahead. I said I'm in a very noisy area right beside the base. And uh, the noise is almost covering you up. Almost. I'm sitting stuck at a traffic light. I still can't hear you. Uh, I'm just stuck here. Once the traffic light turns green and I get out of this area, I'll hear you again. Copy that, I did hear that, I heard that a little bit. I heard that I'm still giving you about a three, which means we don't have that much further to go. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm at the intersection now at 378. So uh, I'll probably uh, keep going, head beyond uh, Barnett's and uh, probably not much further than that. Copy that on the five.
So uh, we may have reached the end of our journey. I may be turning around and heading home. Well, still giving me almost a five. Um, so that guy does come up over you. Okay, that one we'll probably remember. <laughs> I've got a street directly across the me, but the sign is at such an angle to me, I can't quite make out what it says. <laughs> Don't you just hate that when the signs are only visible one way? <laughs> Gotcha. By the way, how do I even know this camera is recording? Uh, you take my word for it. If the screen is still on, it's recording. Okay then, it's still recording. <laughs> we are not quite sure how far away those are, but at least we have the references on the camera. Turning around in the Sumter First oh, Church of the... Oh, I can't see it from here. But it's Sumter First. It's a church. Okay. That one we'll probably remember. <laughs> I've got a street directly across from me. But the sign is at such an angle to me, I can't quite make out what it says. Don't you just hate that when the signs are only visible one way? No, no, it's visible from both directions on the main road. I'm directly across from that side street, so the, I'm looking at the end of the sign. Gotcha. By the way, how do I even know this camera is recording? Screen is still on, it's recording. Okay then, it's still recording. Well, it did all right, didn't it? Through the city and daytime traffic, through business zones, uh, Barbara and I were able to keep right on talking for what? Oh, up to 16 miles away. Probably still could have gone a little bit further, but I was having trouble uh, hearing her. Uh, the noise level was kind of high in the car. So I was having a little trouble hearing her, but she was still hearing me pretty well. So all in all, I give it an A-plus score. This, uh, this antenna definitely works well. I could have tuned it better. Oh, I spaced it right out, and I didn't do the fine-tuning on it. I set it to where the instructions said for 27 megahertz, and we ran with that. And like I said, the the SWR could have been it could have been tuned in a little bit better, but it still worked fantastic. All right, guys, that's it. That's the uh, the Radioddity CBL 561, 25 through 30 megahertz uh, CB antenna. They come in great and they sound great and they look
find out now if we're over here on the, over the other side of the pond in the southwest coast of Ireland. Uh, uh, absolutely uh, wrong spoken to me. Copy that. Well, thank you very much. I'm doing a, uh, a mobile antenna test, uh, testing out a brand new mobile antenna. Uh, it's a Radiodity uh, CBL 561, and uh, we're just testing it with a Radiodity QT40. All copy, sir. You uh, I just want you to find the you plus nine for time. You're obviously moving around, but uh, time to a plus nine, and the base is even higher. Over. Copy that. Thank you very much. Hey, what's the numbers over there? Who are we talking to? We have uh, two nine Wybridge, Yankee Bravo, four two eight personal is you near city of Cork. I'm right down on the harbour of Cork. Uh, back to you, sir. Copy that. You got John, mower junkie, down here in South Carolina, and hey, I appreciate that uh, the contact and the radio check. Hey, enjoy the day, and I hope you get a lot of DX today. Hey, 73s to you. Okay, John, no, I, I should have recognized that voice. I should have recognized that voice, uh, but I didn't hear your good, uh, your good content, a good voice there as much. I don't hear too, heard too much on it, but... Uh, I don't want to be you're in now, so I have a very good visual on what you look like. Okay, John, thanks for coming back to me, uh, and, and uh, as I said, you're a fine guy, I'm going to thank you for coming around, and John, John, look after yourself, have a good life. Copy that, thank you very much, eh? be safe, be uh, happy, and be well out there in Scotland. 73's to you. 151, South Carolina, I'll be standing by and re resuming the test. Hey, John, uh, your good wife, uh, uh, 151, Mower Junkie, 216, Utah, the base station, you'll need to 593 in the southwest coast of Ireland. Congratulations, 73s to you. Thank you very much, 73s to you. And uh, I heard, a, I believe, a Utah station in there. Come back one more time with those numbers. Uh, Mower Junkie, just wanted to give you a quick wave. I've watched your videos and stuff. Broadway to Ireland, 216, we're in central Utah. Copy that, 216 out there in central Utah. Hey, thank you so much for watching the videos, and uh, it looks like you're going to make it on to one. Uh, I'm in the middle of uh, a test video, uh, testing out a new Radiodity antenna, and uh, the camera's rolling. Roger, uh, Roger. Well, thanks for the camera. I'll get it on